town of Erie, my name is Rosie and I'm with EcoCycle, your local recycler and nonprofit zero waste and natural resource conservation organization. This is the first video in a zero waste video series that we made specifically for Erie and we're really excited to chat with you about zero waste, recycling, composting, reducing, reusing, and more. Here's why zero waste is so important. We have one planet, but if everyone consumed resources like we do here in the US, we would need five planets worth of resources to keep up. Clearly that math does not add up. Our consumption is not sustainable. Everything we use comes from the earth. Our bottles, cans, bags, electronics, you name it. Precious natural resources become our everyday products, and it makes no sense to use those natural resources, some of which took millions of years to create, to make single-use products that we use for two minutes and then bury so we can never use them again. We want to reduce the amount of natural resources we use in the first place, and we want to keep the resources that we do extract from the earth in circularity as long as we can, and that's recycling. Recycling helps us maintain the value of the natural resources that went into making a product so that we can live within the limits of our one planet. That's why we need to keep materials in the production system as long as possible by recycling as much as we can and recycling correctly. I'll give you an example. See this aluminum can? It comes from a natural resource called bauxite ore that is strip mined beneath rainforests. When we landfill this can, we've lost its value. To make a new one, we have to go back to those rainforests, clear cut them, and they are sometimes burned, strip mine the bauxite, and leave a devastated ecosystem behind as a result. If we recycle the aluminum can, those resources remain undisturbed, and we can save 95% of the energy it would take to make a new can from bauxite ore. And you produce local green jobs, all that just by using this. Recycling helps conserve natural resources, and it helps us reduce our climate impact. By adopting zero waste strategies, including recycling, we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by more than 400 million metric tons of CO2 per year. That's the equivalent of taking more than 20% of U.S. coal-fired power plants off the grid. By recycling, we also reduce habitat destruction, save water and energy, avoid burying valuable materials, and create local green jobs. Okay, so recycling is important, but let's talk about how you recycle. Here in Erie, the recyclables in your recycling bin are headed to the Boulder County Recycling Center, where EcoCycle sorts out each type of material from one another and sends them off to the respective markets to be made into new products. We have a system called Single Stream Recycling. This means that all the recyclable materials on our guidelines can be collected together in your one recycling bin. Let's go over the basics of what goes in the bin. There are two basic categories, paper, including cardboard, and containers. Let's look first at what papers are accepted. Paper and cardboard. You can recycle corrugated cardboard, single layer paperboard like cereal boxes, newspaper, magazines, office paper, and mail. Please flatten your corrugated cardboard boxes before recycling them, and don't put any cardboard scraps smaller than a post-it in your recycling bin. There are some papers we do not accept. Frozen food boxes, these look just like a cereal box, but they're coated in plastic to protect against freezer burn. These need to go in the trash. Coffee cups. These are also plastic coated and need to go in the trash. Takeout boxes. Same thing, coated in plastic. And lastly, be sure to keep neon colored paper and low grade papers like tissues, napkins, and paper towels out of the recycling. If you have curbside compost, these papers can go in your compost bin. Otherwise, please trash them as well. Containers. Moving on to containers, you can recycle glass bottles and jars, aluminum cans, bowls, and trays, steel cans, and aerosol containers, but please be sure that they are fully empty. And cartons, such as milk, juice, soup, and coconut water. You can leave the plastic lid attached to the cartons in the recycling, but please take small caps off of glass containers and throw them away. Labels are fine to leave on all of these containers. The biggest note for containers is to make sure they are empty and rinsed so that food and liquids do not spill onto the paper in your recycling bin, and it also keeps stinging insects, rats, and mice away from recycling facilities and protects workers from mold. With most containers, a little shot of water and a shake will do the trick. They do not have to be perfectly clean. Plastic is a little more confusing because there are so many types of plastics. Some are recyclable and some are not. 
Rather than worrying about the symbol or the numbers on the bottom of the container, just pay attention to what the actual item is. Bottles, tubs, jugs, and jars is an easy little mantra to remember and are the most commonly recyclable plastics. You can leave screw-on caps on the container. You can also recycle hinged clamshell containers and hard plastic takeout containers, but please don't recycle takeout containers that are compostable, plastic-coated paper, or styrofoam. Again, please make sure that these containers are clean and empty before throwing them in the recycling bin. Lastly, you can throw your recyclables directly into your recycling bin, but don't put them in a plastic bag first, like we do with trash. Plastic bags are a huge problem in the recycling because they jam up machinery, so keep them out. There you have it. It's a lot to take in, so please follow the basic approach. When in doubt, throw it out. It's better to err on the side of keeping potential contamination out of the recycling bin. Or, even better, when in doubt, give us a shout. Call our recycling hotline at 303-444-6634 or email us at recycle at ecocycle.org or get this info at your fingertips with EcoCycle's A to Z Recycling Guide app available at www.ecocycle.org or download it to your phone and you can look up where to recycle, compost, or reuse hundreds of items. Thanks for watching, Eerie Friends! We hope to see you at our next video where we'll be talking all about compost. Happy recycling!